So this time I'm doing something a little different than my normal furniture. I am upcycling one of my daughter's frozen um, artworks. And first I took off all the rhinestones that were stuck on there, sanded off the excess glitter. And now I'm taking white gesso to just give myself a nice even surface, blocking out Elsa and priming the canvas for what I'm about to do to it. This is just Bob Ross's um, white gesso. And again, um, this is the first time I'm attempting my own original canvas art. I am due any day now and it was not possible to do one of my larger furniture pieces. So as you can see here, I just took one of my synthetic brushes and coated that whole canvas with that. And then I waited for it to dry nice and smooth. And I came in with the Halloween master board paper. I absolutely love this paper. I actually think it should have been called Silence of the Lambs paper, but of course there's probably a copyright. <laughs> but I used, um, I love Hughes clear coat in flat. I love decoupaging with flat um, to start out. Now, if I see all later on with satin, that's different, but to start out, I always like flat. And the great thing about this paper is, um, you can lift, it's sturdy enough to lift up and maneuver to get everything just right. So I'm placing this on here. I'm loving the moths on this. So I get this into position and then seal it all down. Once that's dry, I'm coming in with a texture additive and I love Hughes um, green color. This one's Stony Creek. And uh, I didn't like this brush after a few minutes, so I got a new one. But what I'm doing is I'm doing a texture dabbing motion. I wanted lots of texture, lots of grittiness um, with the paint. And I did it all over um, around the paper and on the sides of the canvas. Now I'm using a natural bristle uh, brush, a cheap chip brush, and Wise Owl's Iron Oxide to give a rusty, drippy look to this. Um, I'm putting it in the corners in different areas to give kind of a, dri a drippy, metallic aged patina look, and I find that natural bristle brush gives me this best effect. Um, and I'm also going to go in with a reddish brown color in certain areas to deepen um, Gives give depth and more dimension to the background really grunge it up and enrich in it With some color using the exact same brush afterwards. I also took um, That green color again and kind of blended over it to make sure everything was nice and cohesive and not too bold uh, Here I'm cutting out one of the butterflies from the same paper the Halloween master board I'm going to use it um, and so I cut out the butterfly delicately. Then I'm taking paint couture's embossing medium with a little bit of a copper patina paint, but it did not turn out copper. It turned out a grayish color, but it still worked and was cool. And I'm using that to make a 3D stencil, um, a raised stencil, I should say, uh, with this script stencil. It's just a plastic script stencil. I'm using a little spatula to put it on there and wipe it back. And as you can see, it made those beautiful letters. And afterwards, I sealed the whole thing. And there you have it, my very first canvas art with Roycycle.